Greetings friends, Reform Stoic here, back again with another video. I have a quick message for you today. Um, this is kind of just like, you know, one of Spider-Man's helpful tips. I imagine it will be over pretty quick. I don't think I have that much to say about it. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. So let's get to it. Your reputation. I think as life goes on, you kind of go up and down with your reputation. The default is that my reputation matters. What people think about me is everything. And then you start getting to your uh, late teens, mid 20s, or early 20s. And you start to go in the direction of, you're like, you know what? Who cares about rep my reputation? I don't give a damn about my reputation. Da -da -da. Like, who cares, right? You're a rebel. You can even be reading this PUA advice. Like, oh, women like the bad guy, women like the guy who plays by his own rules. Well, the point of this video is circling back to a mature, modern, adult understanding of your reputation. I believe that you should play your life like you are under attack. Maybe some people in this sphere are under attack on some level. <laughs> And um, what's going to happen is people will actively try to destroy your reputation and you don't even necessarily need to be like a targeted person of interest. You just might rub people the wrong way, man. Maybe it's because you got a good smile. Maybe you're a good looking guy. Maybe you're smart. Maybe there was just one point in your life when somebody's like, hey man, what have you been up to? And it's like, oh, you know, I've been working on calculus just for fun. Like, you know, I really want to go to Harvard. And I think I'm going to try to be a mathematician. And that person, like, didn't know jack crap about math. And in that moment was just like, I hate this person. And I'm going to tell everyone that they dig up dead cats and have a collection of dead cats. Like, this, this person in that moment is subconsciously going to decide that they want to ruin you. And you can't do anything to undo it. So it's like, you're likely, especially if you have anything going for you in life, you're going to get to a point in life where people really want to hurt your reputation, man. And you should play life like this game where people are aggressively trying to slander you. And it's hard mode, okay? You might just, you might come to the conclusion, okay, you know what, the lame cool guy doesn't post anything on social media, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a social media account with a picture of me giving the thumbs up, and I don't post anything on my social media account, ever. I don't even think that's enough, bro, because when you're thinking hard mode, it's like, people are going to be like, look at this weirdo. He never says anything. See, I told you he was doing this. Like, it's not like he has any evidence that he's not doing that, because he never posts anything on social media, so you should, like... Like, the, the default position is like, this is not a winning battle for you. You need a rocky montage, okay? You need to get your head in the game and study a little bit on how you are going to protect your reputation. It's not about, like, influencing people and winning. It's not about, like, what you originally thought before you decided that you didn't care, which you probably really did care. You cared so much that you were trying to pretend you didn't care. Back once upon a time, you wanted to win at social interactions. You wanted to influence people. Now, it's like as an adult, I think the way it is, is like you should be more defensive. Where it's like you're always kind of thinking to the point where it becomes second nature. And you kind of just leave behind this trail of good decisions for your identity, okay? Because people today, chosen ones, chosen fam, hashtag chosen ones, let's get the grift on. Um, people are aggressive, people are petty, and there's a good chance that you rubbed somebody the wrong way at some point, and they're trying to harass you, man. And you know, me, I did that whole thing where like people were petty to me, and people like wounded me, so I lashed out, and then people used my lashing out as ammunition against me, okay? People already got ammo against me, but I'm to the point where it's two years old. And people are getting pretty tired of trying to spread that same 
drama about me. People aren't buying it anymore. And they're waiting for me to slip up. So I don't have a lot of like specific advice of what you should do. It's just that you should be thinking about your reputation. Not to win, just to defend yourself. So I would recommend, especially because, you know, a lot of times when people are looking for jobs, they're like, hey, where's your Facebook? You have to have a Facebook. Why? Because the people hiring you would love to fire you, okay? Everybody would love to fire you. Everybody would love to ruin your reputation. Why? Because people like to win against other people. And whatever your insecurities are, it's like, oh man, I have this mole and people don't like me because of my mole. Your boss is shaking your hand. I'm like, look at this guy's mole. This guy's got a big mole. I think I'm better than this person. I want to ruin this person. I hope they screw up, okay? So on some level, your insecurities, like people are going to see that as a weakness and they're going to want to hold it against you. Obviously, I haven't had very good experiences with people, but I would recommend like you have a social media and you think, what's like the safest thing I can post? Not so safe that people are like, oh man, this guy's boring. Not so bland that people are like, this guy's a loser. He doesn't have any friends. Like play the game just a little bit. When you have an opportunity to take a picture with friends, dress nice, wear a polo, you're at the freaking zoo or Disneyland. Here I am at Disneyland with my friend with my friends and family. And then like the people who hate you, the CIA, the FBI are like, damn it, he has friends and family and he's doing something normal and it even looks kind of fun. Oh, I wanna go to Disneyland. <laughs> Snap out of it, Officer Davidson. Okay. <laughs> like this is a war against normies, okay? So the way you used to be is like, oh, I don't want to take a picture of me with my friends at Disneyland holding a freaking seltzer water because that's lame and that's like trying to get likes and approval. You should take a picture with your friends and family at Disneyland holding a seltzer water and have your polo on and look good. And it doesn't mean you go out of the way, okay? You don't like take time out of your schedule to figure out how to be a normie it's just as you go on because you're james bond now okay you guys you're mother Teresa now and you're james bond and like we're all these things here on this channel because we are living this like spiritual warfare physical warfare people don't like you people are petty people have this like weird collectivist stassi mindset okay the game is on and chances are, if you're here, because this is a pretty cool channel, I'm a pretty cool guy. If you're, like, unironically watching this channel, like, you probably, this applies to you, okay? Because people be petty out there today. So, every now and then, leave behind a picture of you, like, hanging out with your friends or your family, doing something cool. And you're playing on absolute maximum difficulty oh well, this guy's just with his family he's a loser he doesn't have any friends he's with his family oh his friends look like nerds this guy's a loser these guys are probably all like secretly axe murderers and i'm super suspicious of them okay people want to judge you so wear nice clothes maybe don't just take a picture like with your family like when you're doing something that makes you look good take a picture and put it on your Facebook and don't have some big spurgy like, you know what I learned about life, blah, 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 blah. Oh, this guy's a loser. Like, had a great time with my friends and family. Cool picture. You look good. That's a little bit of evidence that you are a regular person. And then, like, it is hard to master social media. Oh, you post too much, you're a tryhard. Oh, you don't post enough, you're probably an axe murderer. Just, just learn it, okay? It is hard. Figure it out. Every like week and a half, leave a post on your social media that just isn't try hard, isn't lecturing people, isn't too lame, isn't too look how cool I am. It is hard. People's expectations of you are that high, but just rise up to the occasion, dude, and people will hate you even more. It's like, oh my gosh. I thought he was a loser, but he's normal and he's doing everything right. This is a battle, my friends, and people will try to smear you. And look, you can do everything right on social media. When you talk to people, you know, maybe read one of those books, like how to, 
win friends and influence people, okay? You don't need to read like a bunch of those books, but just figure out social norms. Don't be an edgelord. Don't have your Facebook likes like a bunch of edgy far right stuff that makes you look bad and people can use against you. Because I straight up left a friendly post in the UNLV group one time. I was like, hey guys, I'm new here and I'm just looking for a party. And somebody's like, don't invite him. He's in a Trump group. And it was a group that I had literally never even posted in. So these people are at war with you, bro. They want you to freaking blow it. So don't like edgy stuff on Facebook. Maybe hide your likes. But that honestly, dude, it's because people will notice that you hid your likes when they're like trying to dig up dirt on you. Don't hide your likes. Don't just like random stuff. Like, like, if you really want to be like top level, like just like all the perfect stuff, okay? Be very aware of what you hit like on on Facebook. I'm not talking like liking a status, like liking a page. So you like all these perfect pages, like the donation fund for somebody's cancer and save the dolphins and philosophy now and then people somebody trying to ruin you'll be looking at your likes and they're like f this guy dude he looks so perfect and like in reality you will have like hand picked the things that you like on facebook like you're sipping your tea it's like oh man i'm gonna like this the, per the people trying to ruin me are be so mad when they see my likes <sighs> so this is kind of an out there video bro but it's just like you are at war with society. They want everybody to point and laugh at you. They want clips of you doing the worst things that makes you look terrible, okay? And somebody like me has already screwed up. So I'm basically doing like a mod run of a video game. What do they call it? Like when you beat Final Fantasy with only one move or you only have like one Pokemon, or like when your Pokemon dies, you're not allowed to revive them, or when your character dies in Final Fantasy, you're not allowed to revive them. I'm doing like a select difficulty run of my life at this point. But you know what guys? A lot of people do that for fun because RPGs aren't that hard if you're good at life, okay? You probably already screwed up. I already screwed up, so your life is like, I really wish I could remember what it's called, but I'm not that big of a gamer nerd. If you're a huge gamer nerd, try to cover it up a little bit because people will use that against you. It's like, I am doing a special playthrough where I already screwed up like the first half of my life. It's still beatable, baby. There's people who do it for fun. So just, you're a special agent now and you need to leave behind a little normie trail of like, oh, I just went for a walk and there's a beautiful sunset and you know, just wanted to test out my new camera, like leaving an excuse for why you took that picture. It's like, why'd you take a picture on the trail by yourself, dude? Are you a loser with no friends? Oh, he said he's testing out his new camera and it's a great picture. And it's like, duh. Okay, secretly you do it out of spite for normies. <laughs> it's like, dude, people who hate me are gonna like see this picture of me with my grandma at SeaWorld and be like, Damn it, I thought he was a freak, but this guy's with his grandma at SeaWorld, and go, 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 go. People are gonna be mad when they see how well-adjusted and normal you are. And they think that you're just a regular person, but really, you're like everything I'm describing right now, which is actually kind of weird. But guess what, bro? This is how life is. So, Kind of just a little goofy video for you there, but it's good advice. Seriously, I'm not going to rant on on it anymore, but have a good reputation. It's not about trying super hard. It's not going to take a lot of effort. It's about good decision making. It's not about effort. It's about good decision making. It's like, okay, I'm doing the same things that I would usually do, but be selective about what you share with other people. And if you just decide, bro, I don't even want to have a Facebook, I don't even want to have an Instagram, I don't even want to have any of that, that is a pretty decent decision. That's way better than spurging all over your social media. But if you're going for like the next level, I would say have a social media and exercise perfect self-control. Like maybe come out of the woodwork if you've been off the radar 
And people will be like, oh, I haven't seen this guy in five years. How's he doing? And they want you to be blowing it, okay? It's like, oh, I haven't seen this guy in five years. And, like, you got pictures of yourself doing stuff with people. Not too many. Not too little. And every now and then you share something. You're like, wow, this is really cool. And it's like a video of, like, somebody snowboarding down a mountain. And you just leave behind this little normie trail to where, who knows, dude, maybe you're like a freaking assassin or something. Like, you might be hiding something, okay? But nobody has any idea. And at the very least, because we're living in a time where people straight up make up something about you, dude. They'll just straight up make up something about you. And guess what? People will believe it. That's the difficulty we're living on, is people will make up something about you with no evidence, which I'm literally living through right now, and people will literally believe it but you don't want to make it any worse. So if you want to go the next step, not having any social media is a great option, but just little like me and my grandma, haven't seen my grandma in five years. It's like, damn it, he's so sweet to his grandma. It's gonna make people mad, dude. And then when they, it's like, oh, I'm gonna go look at his likes and I'll bet he likes far right. I'll bet he likes Nazis and fascism and I'm gonna screenshot it. And I'm gonna ruin everybody. The Puppy Foundation of donations for puppies with cancer, helping grandma foundation, like philosophy 101 and learning how to help the environment. And they're gonna be like, oh, he's perfect. He's just such a good person. And then you're gonna be like, dude, I love fascism and nobody has any idea. <laughs> this video isn't making me look good. So I've sacrificed, <laughs> I've sacrificed some of my own reputation to just let you guys know that people are savage. And if you're playing the absolute s safe route of no social media, then you've basically defaulted to I'm a Spurg burger with no friends who gave up on life and I have absolutely no agency in life. And that's what people are going to think about you. Like, oh, this guy is like embarrassed to show his face. He probably like couldn't even hold down a freaking grocery bagging job. What a loser. But then you're not a threat to them. So they're maybe not going to try to ruin you. But if it's ever convenient for them be like oh you know that you want to know why this guy doesn't have social media because he like broke he has a felony offense and like he's really 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 embarrassed and people will believe it dude okay i don't think i'm trying to be negative right now i think this is reality i think like we're at war we are at war so i've ranted about this long enough think about your reputation you're not above your reputation. It doesn't mean you have to read a bunch of normie self-help books or you have to put on some act for people. It's all about smart decision making, okay? You're going to be taking these actions that leave behind a trail of who you are. Be smart with it. Leave behind a little bit of a normie trail. Not too much, not too little, not too hot, not too cold. Not too boring, not too know-it-all, okay? It is that hard. People are that judgmental. And like I said, if you do everything perfect, they'll just straight up make something up about you. Keep a journal of where you are. When people are like, oh yeah? Where were you at July the 26th, 2021 at 4 p.m.? Nobody would ever know where they were, okay? But now you're under the spotlight. Oh, well, just, let me take out my journal. Let's see. Oh, I was kayaking with my grandma who has cancer, and we stopped by a puppy foundation to leave a $50,000 donation. Duh! Okay? Be prepared for people to try to ruin you. I think this is good advice. I think this is an entertaining video. God bless you. Have a good day. See you for the next one.